joined now by Lewis Bridger. Lewis, first of all, what have you been getting up to during the winter? Uh, you know, lived a normal life, mate, till Christmas, you know, uh, just had enjoyed my time off with my friends and my pals and stuff, and then from Christmas I've been doing quite a lot of training, uh, loads of running and boxing, six hours of boxing a week, you know, I'm uh, training at Bexel ABC, which is an amateur boxing club, and I've actually got good enough to enter a fight now, so uh, I don't know what I want to do, but I want to keep it up, and uh, you know, that could be good too, it's a really big discipline side of things as well and I think it's going to help my speedway a lot. Have you had many opportunities to get on a bike during the winter? Uh, no, I haven't sat on a bike since 31st October. Just sat on my bike for the first time then. Uh, I haven't had the seats even to do so. So, no, I haven't been on track since. So, uh, you know, I've got to bed myself in nice and easy during the week, but I'm sure everything will be fine. Looking forward to the season, uh, always at this time of year, plenty of opportunities ahead. Uh, have you set yourself some targets for the new year? Uh, you know, I want to be British champion this year, 100%. I've never gone there before with the approach of being British champion. I've gone there with the approach of getting to Cardiff, and uh, it's the wrong way of looking at it, really. I need to go there and do my best, and uh, you know, I want to take the trophy home at the end of the night. And obviously, to put uh, a point, a point and a half on my average would be great. Uh, and to go all the way through the Grand Prix qualifiers, and you know, maybe get a GP slot. Domestically, so close last year with Eastbourne to picking up a couple of trophies, really. Um, obviously looking to try to get some silverware this year. Yeah, obviously you can't tell at the moment, you know, you look what happened at Ipswich the other night with three injuries in one night. I mean, it's early days and uh, if we all stay strong as a team and we have no injuries or anything like that, then and we all click together as a team and there's no reason why we can't get back to the playoffs and then it all starts again, don't it? So... You personally are capable of a big improvement in your average. Uh, who else do you see in the team as, as being a, a potential major improver this year? I think Dennis is going to be, you know, one of the others. It's either going to be a, a big, big star for us or he's not really going to get on very well in England. It's going to be one of the two. He's not just going to be an ordinary six-point rider. You know, He's either going to be right up there or not be into it. But uh, if he clicks well and Cam carries on how he how he left and Lucas carries on how he was before he got injured and Timo starts like he finished then we've got an awesome team so all the boys to be fair. A lot of pressure on Dennis for what is really his first full season in Britain he's come in essentially replacing Piano Pedersen in an otherwise unchanged team um, do you feel that kind of expectation that's been built up over a long period of time will get to him? I don't think so, you know, because like last season, his bikes, his chassis, his engines and stuff were all the clubs. He didn't even have his own covers or colours, you know. He he was very much on borrowed equipment and wasn't very comfortable with everything, the setup where he was living and everything. And he's very uh, familiar with everything now, where he's living and his teammates and the whole surroundings, you know. And I think that that makes a big difference in the sport. And he's got all his own kit now. Uh, you know, even down to his finished colours, and I really think that makes a you know big psychological difference. And I think it's going to be comfortable, and really look forward to representing the Eagles this season. Talking about another couple of the riders, uh, Cameron Woodward in particular, in as captain this season again, had a great season, particularly towards the end of last year down at reserve, and he's surely capable of uh, making further improvements as well. Yeah, he is. You know, he had a good winter in in Aussie, and I know he's. Uh, put a lot of money into equipment to have things right for uh, for this season and you know, he's also got a long track and everything else to consider but you know he wants it pretty bad you know uh, when I've tried calling him or trying to get him to do something or meet me for lunch he's had no time he's been rushed off his feet you know so hopefully all his hard work pays off for him. Eastbourne again going for a, a strength in depth approach uh, pretty much every rider in the team last year had a spell at reserve um, this season again difficult to predict who'll be down in those reserve positions for the majority of the season yeah I really don't think you can predict who's going to be down there you know I'd like to say within the first two months I could be uh, riding down at number one you know that'd be great but uh, you really couldn't tell I could have a, a dodgy start of the season be at reserve or even Jonas you know and he's starting off as our number one so you really can't tell I think we're all going to be pretty close and whoever does go down the reserve it's only going to be a case of half a point on the average or something. Have you had a look at any of the other teams? Any teams you see as particularly daunting? I haven't looked at anyone's lineups. I think it's best to just concentrate on your own stuff and uh, you know let the team see what they want to do. I knew I was back with Eastbourne and uh, you know I know who our team is. I, I got Trevor to keep me updated with Dennis to see if he got his uh, visa and stuff sorted but you know I'm only really concentrating on my team. And how about the uh, early part of the fixture list? Is it looking busy for you? Not really, you know, I've just got the UK, so I can really concentrate on keeping my fitness levels up through the season uh, and doing some testing behind scenes, you know, b between races and stuff to make sure I've got England dialed. You know, I've got a British Championship to worry about. I've 
got some uh, meet, open meetings in Germany, some meetings maybe for Diedenbergen, uh, and also I've got the GP qualifier on the 16th of June in Tarnoff, the first one, so uh, I'm looking forward to them and I'll, I'll be ready for them. Plenty to look forward to then, also uh, hoping to get some track time no doubt, obviously w the weather curtailing things today, uh, will you have an opportunity before the first meetings to get on the track? Yeah, I don't think today would have been ideal for me anyway, you know, like, we're still bolting seats and covers on right now, you know, it's not like we're all ready to go and it's the first time I put my boots on, first time I put my Kevlar's on, you know, once I've got everything off now and then I come up here during the week and the sun's out, I'll be keen to start. After a long winter, the fans are eager to be here and, and see people riding. You must be twice as eager to get back on board a bike. Uh, I think I will do once I've warmed them up and I get into it, you know, I'm, I'm pretty excited. But obviously there's a lot of nerves still running as well. Not sitting on a bike for four months and spending all the time in the workshop building them and not actually knowing what they're going to go like, you know, it's quite nervous. But once you've got the first few skids out of the way, then everything settles down. I can't wait to race. Not too many meetings uh, for Eastbourne this year, obviously the European Cup falling by the wayside and, and the controversies that that brought. Does that give you more time to focus on the meetings or does that make it more difficult for you to earn a crust essentially? Well yeah, it's more costly side of things to be fair. I spent a lot of money on equipment this season, everything's new. Looking at it in the pits, I'm the only one with all new equipment. So uh, the reason I've done that is because I've only got the UK and I really need to concentrate hard on England and really dominate this season and not have any machine problems or anything like that. Obviously, you, you get the odd ones here and there or whatever, but uh, it was really important for me to concentrate on England and only having a team place in England has made me, you know, allowed me to focus on equipment for England. So uh, I'm looking forward to it, mate. I think it'll be a great year. Looking forward to seeing you on track then. Best of luck for the year. Thank you.